Toba, a colossal supervolcano in Sumatra, blew its top approximately 75,000 years ago in the greatest eruption to occur anywhere on Earth in the previous 2 million years. The gas and ashes that were ejected into the atmosphere travelled around the world in a matter of weeks and some scientists believe that they were the cause of a global volcanic winter that may have lasted for decades and resulted in catastrophic numbers of deaths, bringing the human race dangerously close to extinction. But could such a massive tragedy occur today? Is there another sleeping giant about to erupt and cause havoc? And more importantly, could our modern society and race survive? Join us in today's video as we investigate another sleeping giant that is waking up and could wreak havoc on our planet. According to a detailed new study of the Toba volcano in Sumatra, Indonesia, some of the key warning signs that geologists typically look for ahead of a supervolcanic eruption may not be present in every case. According to the findings, the massive eruptions of Toba 840,000 years ago and 75,000 years ago were not preceded by a sudden influx of magma into the volcano's reservoir. Instead, the magma gathered steadily and quietly ahead of the eruptions. However, because of the gradual increase in temperature of the continental crust surrounding the magma reservoir, the second super eruption required less than half the time for magma to build up than the first, 600,000 years rather than 1.4 million years. This is a vicious circle of eruptions, says Peking University geologist Ping Ping Lu. The more the magma heats the crust, the slower the magma cools and the faster the rate of magma accumulation becomes. To reach their conclusions, the researchers examined the chemistry of zircons found near Toba, which are minerals formed by explosive volcanic eruptions. Because uranium decays into lead inside zircon, the researchers were able to determine the age of the minerals using mass spectrometry scanning. This provided them with timelines for both the eruptions and the magma buildup that preceded them. The same technique can also be used to estimate how much magma has already accumulated in a reservoir. The researchers estimate that 320 square kilometers, 124 square miles of magma could be lurking beneath Toba Lake today a caldera formed by previous eruptions and since filled in by snow and rain. An island sits in its centre, pushed up by the magma deep below the surface. Today, the eruption site of Toba is displaying symptoms of greater volatility. The experts are closely monitoring the seismic activity in the area. Toba has erupted four times in the last million years. Could it erupt once more? Experts believe that magma is still present beneath Lake Toba. Within the Toba caldera, there are several minor volcanoes. There are also hot springs in there. For the time being, Toba does not appear to represent a serious threat. However, in other parts of the world, such as Italy, Japan and New Zealand, supervolcanoes are becoming more active. They erupted in prehistoric times and will erupt once more. When that occurs, they will set off catastrophes that have the potential to bring modern society to its knees. Scientists predict that 5 to 10 volcanoes around the planet are capable of a super eruption, which would have disastrous effects on the global climate. Toba volcano could be one of these, and if one of these catastrophic occurrences is on the way, we must be aware of it. Volcanoes, on the other hand, cannot be stopped. Disasters of that scale are beyond human control. What can be done to avoid another volcanic winter? Well, according to climatologists, absolutely nothing. You really can't do anything to prevent such calamity. Nature has its own way of doing things and, in reality, humans must just adapt to whatever nature throws at them, according to Alan Robock, professor in the Department of Environmental Sciences at Rutgers University, New Jersey. If an eruption the size of Toba erupted today or tomorrow anywhere in the world, there's nothing you can do. Most people would die. It's hard to imagine people that would survive. If you had a fallout shelter with 10 years worth of food and enough weapons to keep all the other hungry people out, you could probably live, if you call that living. What most people don't realise is that some of the world's largest supervolcanoes are growing right in our own neighbourhood. There are areas in the western United States that have the potential for massive eruptions. More than 1 million years ago, the Valles Caldera in northern New Mexico experienced an eruption that caused widespread devastation across the region, all the way to the state of Iowa. In the state of California, the Long Valley Caldera may be found in close proximity to Mammoth Mountain, which is home to a well-known ski resort. 
When Long Valley erupted 750 years ago, the ash spread as far south as Texas and as far east as Nebraska. The most prominent and active supervolcano, however, is located in one of America's most popular family destinations, Yellowstone National Park in Wyoming. The park as a whole is a massive caldera, with boiling magma throbbing right beneath visitors' feet. The lava that forms Yellowstone's supervolcano is what warms the geysers, mud pools and other natural formations you see. Scientists predict that a Yellowstone eruption and its aftermath would be similar to Toba. It's thought that the supervolcanic eruptions from Toba could have blanketed the whole of South Asia in a substantial layer of ash, with some studies putting forward the hypothesis that the most recent caused a decade-long volcanic winter where temperatures plunged across the globe. It's unclear how humanity would respond if such a catastrophe occurred again, everything from food supply to population migrations, but we might not get much warning when the next supervolcanic eruption occurs. Our study shows that no extreme events occur before a super eruption, says Luca Carici of the University of Geneva in Switzerland. This suggests that signs of an impending super eruption, such as a significant increase in earthquakes or rapid ground uplift, might not be as obvious as pictured in disaster movies by the film industry. So if experts predict there will be no warning sign prior to a super eruption, how will we deal with the Yellowstone eruption? Well, the amazing thing about Yellowstone is that when it erupts, it will be massive and disastrous. In the last few million years, Yellowstone has seen two supervolcano eruptions. In fact, Yellowstone appears to be on a 600,000 year cycle. The last time Yellowstone erupted, 650,000 years ago. Are we overdue an eruption? No one can answer that with surety. What would happen to life today if one of the Western United States supervolcanoes erupted? If the same quantity of ash from the Toba eruption burst from Yellowstone, it will cover the entire continent in around four inches of ash. Just think of the implications that would have. It would be dreadful. The area closest to the super eruption, like with Toba, would face the greatest rapid devastation. Although Wyoming is a rural state, major hubs such as Las Vegas are within striking distance. If a supervolcano erupted in the western United States, your chances of survival in Las Vegas would be little to none. Massive amounts of ash would be merely the first hurdle to overcome. Las Vegas would be buried by inches of thick ash and the ash would be heavy. As a result, it can collapse roofs, bury animals and bury people. Molten lava over 1000 degrees Celsius seeping from an eruption may be less of a problem than ash. Along with the ash, the supervolcano would emit a slew of gases including sulfur dioxide, a gas that can lead to acid rain as well as global cooling as it reflects the sun away from the earth. The air would be too toxic to breathe as the ash sweeps throughout the country. People would be forced to wear protective masks over their eyes and mouths. Crops would fail and water supplies would become contaminated. Car engines would become clogged. However, the ash fall would only be the beginning. As we saw with Toba, while the ash settles, the destructive sulfur gases would be making their way into the stratosphere and circling the rest of the world. It wouldn't only be Americans who would suffer, the entire world would be affected as a result. It would mark the beginning of a volcanic winter. A volcanic winter is a decline in global temperatures produced by volcanic ash and droplets of sulfuric acid and water obscuring the sun and raising the albedo of the earth after a massive, particularly explosive volcanic eruption. How bad is a volcanic winter? According to a news release from New York University, a team of scientists has uncovered an extra component that most likely contributed to the worst mass extinction catastrophe in Earth's history. Analysis of minerals in southern China indicate that volcano eruptions produced a volcanic winter that drastically lowered Earth's temperatures, a change that added to the environmental effects resulting from other phenomena at the time. The end Permian extinction, which occurred about 250 million years ago, wiped off more than 90% of Earth's marine species and 75% of its terrestrial species. Although scientists previously theorized that this extinction event was caused by massive volcanic eruptions in what now is Siberia, they were unable to explain how the eruptions resulted in the extinction of so many distinct species both on land and at sea. 
For decades, scientists have examined what caused this global ecological disaster, with many pointing to the development of massive torrents of lava across the Siberian traps. Such flood basalt eruptions can endure for thousands of years, spewing massive amounts of toxic nickel-rich volcanic ash, poisoning the land, and carbon dioxide into the Earth's atmosphere, causing a runaway greenhouse effect. Rising temperatures lead to a reduction in oxygen levels of ocean waters, the latter causing the suffocation of marine life. Supervolcanoes do not just erupt, they are the driving forces behind global climate change and disaster. Unlike other natural catastrophes which are often localised and even avoidable, a natural disaster like the one unleashed by the Toba eruption is inescapable. These volcanic winters and the resulting cataclysmic upheaval may occur just once per 100,000 years. When they occur though, the world and its inhabitants are never the same again. Scientists agree, however, that the question isn't whether another supervolcano will erupt, but when. There is no way to prepare for a supervolcano eruption. They're just so massive that we can't confine them with any known technology. Let's hear your thoughts in the comments down below.